right have and have not fans now we are here to talk about the new character who we will not see until about um probably towards the end of the first third of season seven or, or the first half excuse me uh miss cameo shirelle who will be portraying the character name laura in the haves and the have nots i don't believe a last name has been given for this character yet but just to kind of give you a brief description of this, I've known about this character for quite some time. Um, if you've been on this channel long enough, you know I did uh, at least two to three videos at this point about the new Melissa. This is basically going to be the next female that Veronica will have to, I guess you could say, continue the Harrington bloodline. We, we all know how... Veronica feels about Jeffrey being a homosexual number one being in denial and number two not letting Anything stand in the way of her grandson. I even though I really don't know how she would control that in terms of What, what if she has a granddaughter? Would she just not love that child as much or, or what's going on here? But in any case uh, according to IMDB Laura will be appearing in several episodes of season seven and she will be in season eight now in season eight the only episode we know of that she'll be in is episode one uh the long haul the long haul that's the episode title of season eight episode one and no i do not know when season eight is going to air uh last time i checked i think season seven is allegedly 20 episodes so maybe tyler perry is going to do you know like the first 10 to 12 episodes January through March, then it'll take a break. If loving you is wrong, we'll come back. Then when that takes a break, the haves and the have nots will finish up season seven. And I don't know how many episodes are going to air in 2020. I mean, will season eight not even air until 2021? I have no clue, but we know that Laura will be in season seven and eight. Uh, speaking of season seven, I do believe the episodes she will be appearing in. Uh, she said that she filmed, and this was an article released a couple months ago. She's going to be in at least eight episodes of season seven. But keep in mind, just because it says eight episodes of season seven doesn't mean that they won't cut up and edit episodes. So who knows, maybe one of the episodes for season seven that she's supposed to be in was cut out. And then that scene was placed in season eight. So just take what I say with a grain of salt, because according to IMDb, she's listed in episode nine, 10, 11, 12, 14 and 19 so episode 9 yeah basically she's going to be appearing during the halfway point of season 1 or should I say the back half if it's 20 I mean excuse me nah, the back half of season 7 not season 1 but what is her character going to bring to the table because of the fact that with Veronica living the way she is now you know all black has a, a gang essentially what exactly is she going to do and, I, and that's one thing that confused the hell out of me kind of like on Greenleaf when um, Judy was literally sabotaging Charity and Phil at their dinner. But then the very next day, she was like, keep Charity happy because I just did some reading last night and found out that the longest serving Greenleaf on the, at the church can actually serve as a tiebreaker between the board members. Like, let's say the board members have a draw. Um, the longest tenured Greenleaf can come in, pick a side, and boom, the top tie is broken because I'm like, well, Judy, if you successfully sabotage Charity and Phil at that date or that dinner, then how in the world would you have expected Phil to get Charity back on his side to make that tiebreaker vote? So the same thing with um, Veronica. It's like, OK, you said clean out the house. You heard that Jeffrey was in the house because they were going, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Then why would you still continue on with your plan to get Jeffrey pre uh she, excuse me Jeffrey to get a girl pregnant so I don't know um, I part of me still is thinking what if it's the whole dream sequence thing because there are just so many different avenues that make no sense because remember if you if you forgot it was several episodes ago there was that white girl named Karen who Veronica kept calling Becky and um, she told the woman from like the um, the girls home to say Go back and bring me a black girl because I wrote you a hefty check. Don't make me take it back. So basically, that's her plan to get a young lady black to come into her house to kind of be like her mother or um, sponsor, if you will, and get knocked up by her son. So I'm wondering, will Veronica clean up her act, so to speak, to show Laura, you know, a good time, if you will? Or will she continue to be the bad bitch that she's portraying herself to be now? 
I have no idea how this is going to turn out because I really do think that Laura might not be everything that Veronica hopes that she is because on paper she might seem like the perfect perfect applicant to be her future daughter-in-law but that doesn't mean Laura isn't from the streets that she doesn't have a few tricks of her own who knows maybe she already has a man there are so many different things that can go down with this uh could she possibly scam Veronica you know steal from her kind of like RK did but not get caught so we'll just have to wait and see will she be unruly like Melissa after the car wreck so I'm excited to see what Laura brings to the table and uh, like I said, she will be appearing in several episodes of season seven as well as season eight. So she's not going anywhere anytime soon. Now, with that being said, make sure you hit me up on social media. Links are in the description below. Also, make sure to follow me on um, Instagram more more than anything else due to the fact that, you know, I do giveaways on Instagram from time to time. And uh, if you want to donate to the channel, there's a link to PayPal in the description as well. Hit that subscribe button. We are closing in on 98,000 subscribers. And I'm pretty sure the closer we get to January the 7th, the more haves and have not news you'll be getting on the channel. Because as soon as I get the news, I'll definitely do a video on it if the video, if the news is worthy of a video. But it seems like, um, yeah, within the next few weeks, we're definitely going to be getting back to normal, if you will. Uh, so, do you think. Laura and Jeff do you think even wait, wait, wait here's another question do you think Laura and Jeffrey will even meet because given what's been going on I have no I I, I have no freaking idea how Jeffrey and Laura are even going to meet up because Jeffrey is obviously not going to want to have anything to do with his mother even more so than ever so the only way I can see those two meeting up is if once again Veronica gets some kind of dirt on Jeffrey or blackmail, but at this point, Jeffrey ain't playing. He's it seems it correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like Jeffrey has attempted to kill or fit, harm his mother more than any other character on the show from the defibrillator, throwing her off the balcony, stabbing her. Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. So, once again, guys, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.